I'm the statistician at the Roslyn Institute and I'll be taking all the training sessions. I thought it would be quite helpful just to think about what statistical objectives people have before kind of diving in and starting at looking at statistical methods. There's different things when you've got a set of data that you might want to do with your data to sort of get some information out of it. You might be in a situation where you think something's the case and you want to prove it and it adds a lot of weight to it if you can actually prove it statistically and that's what we're going to be thinking about um, today and the usual way of proving something is to do what's known as a hypothesis test and you get something um, the critical thing you get out of that is a, a p-value which will tell you if you've proved your result with statistical significance or not. However, it's worth sort of realising that there are other things you might want to do with data. You might just simply want to search your data for in interesting information rather than actually prove a result definitively. So you might just be sort of looking for interesting genes. And you've done maybe me measured gene expression for tens of thousands of genes and you want to see if any of them are interesting and then go on and do some more experiments with them. So that's perhaps more about generating hypotheses rather than proving something beyond reasonable doubt. Another thing you can do with data might be to model it. You, for example, you might want to build a predictive model. If you've got a set of animals and you want to, you've got various measurements on them, one thing you might do is try and predict whether they're likely to develop a condition in the future based on these various factors that you've recorded. And that can be done with statistics as well. So that's not about proving something, it's about developing a model that will do a prediction. But as I say, we're, today we're going to be concentrating on a range of statistical tests and the aim of those is to try and prove something about the data you've collected. So I'm going to talk for about an hour about, first of all, hypothesis testing concepts, a range of tests for continuous data, so that's kind of measurements on a scale. We'll then have a, a break and then look at uh, methods for binary and categorical data, look a bit at correlation and regression analysis, and um, briefly think about some of the things we'll be doing in the next session, which is um, more stati on statistical modelling. Yeah, just to point out, we're not going to be, um, in these sessions, there's not really time to sort of teach a package, so it's more about, rather than you concentrating on the workings of a statistical package, but um, understanding what's behind statistical tests, so how the testing works, which tests to choose for particular situations. And I, I will be sort of showing some output from various packages just to give you a feel for what they might sort of give you once you do start um, running analyses in a package.